like balls to the wall. <laughs> we're clits to the wall, and you know it's true. <laughs> oh, honey, I, we're out there. Ouch. <laughs> I know, I know. Every so often, I'm like, it's a little chafed, Carlin. Ease Ooh. up a little bit. Mm. No, never. It's been a momentous week, though. It's been huge. <sighs> it's been very exciting. The general art gallery is back up. My art is posted. 400 images of Betty's art. I know. And the memoir went out. Yes. You know all about my past sexual exploits. Our genitals are in the general art gallery. Yes. Our pussies are there. We've told you how many sex partners we've had. Yep. I mean... We've talked about our favorite toys. So what is this about? Why are we doing this? Are we just hardcore sluts? No. I know why. Why? Okay. Here it goes. <laughs> The doctor pontificates. From the top of the mountain. From the top of the mountain, <laughs> I come down to say to you all that we need to, every one of us, come out of the sexual closet. A heterosexual, homosexual, bisexual, transsexual is not enough information. We need to come out uh. of the closet with what we are actually doing sexually and share that with each other so that we have some... And not be afraid of judgment. Everybody's afraid that you're, they're going to find out about what, what you used to do sexually. I can't tell you how many times I've been at a cocktail party and someone said, you know, Carlin, we love you, but just don't talk about sex. Please. Betty, you know, you're so talented. If you would just not talk about sex Please so don't. Much. And in two seconds, I'm cornered by their accountant or lawyer, and they're telling me how they're swingers, him and his wife. And it's like everyone acts like no one's sexual or no... No one watches porn, no one cheats on their partner, no one uses sex toys. Yes, we all do. Well, en enough of us do to, to have normalized it. That's the point. We don't need to be ashamed or afraid of our sex lives. And I want, I want everybody to own them and to honor them. Oh. Yeah. That's true. What do we miss out when we don't honor our sex lives? Well, you live in fear. You can be blackmailed. You can be manipulated. Just think of, I mean, I love all the Congress people getting pulled out and, you know, caught sucking dick or taking it up the <laughs> ass or whatever they're doing. I mean... Sex it, in restrooms. Come on. <laughs> come on already. I mean, they should be able to do this without judgment, without mm -hmm. guilt. It's their, their sexual desires. And I think that once we let go of a lot of this restriction, that it'll be healthier. It'll be more fun. Well, it's never good to repress anything. It's never a positive thing. It'll come out one way or t'other. <laughs> exactly. So hey, you know how it's coming out right now, folks? The rage that you're getting from the Tea Party. That's sexual repression at its finest. At its finest. I consider myself a sex worker because I'm teaching women. I do, too. I said that to someone, and they were kind of shocked. But I Look consider myself a sex worker. I mean, that's what we I are. do. We are. We're working sex in mm -hmm. terms of putting out sex information and education to the whole wide world, www. Does that make everyone our Johns? <laughs> and James, and James. Don't forget the girls. Yeah, that's right. They're all. They're you. You are all our clients. And <laughs> <laughs> the genital art gallery is back up. Oh. When I just saw the images, and then I went to the images of all your art, and I saw all the, you know, little thumbnails on the index page. I really, I Look. teared up, and I was like, Why am I tearing up over a whole bunch of genitals? I don't, but it's special. No, it's just, this is this has been my research project for since 1968. Maybe that's it. Looking at it, it was like your life's work, and then looking at your art and all that expression and everything you had done, I got overwhelmed. Well, of course, I. I Thank feel, you for letting me work on this project. I love it. It's changed my life, Carlin. It really has. I'm going to without cry. you, <laughs> without you on the project, I could never have gotten out there. You, you were my dream come true. So the truth is that we've <laughs> just we've just had a baby. Yes. <laughs> Don't you love our little baby? <laughs> oh, our baby is our website. And and now what I think we're experiencing a little bit because it's almost like oh. <sighs> I tell you we have had the best times of our lives. It's just it's absolutely incredible. It so really is. Thank you for doing it. Thank you for letting me do it. And thank you for watching. Yeah. We love all you guys, really, a lot. Mwah.